Okay, got a couple more. Hey, Mike. Hey. If I'm looking to do, if I'm looking for more daring or erotic shots, how do I navigate that conversation to keep everything comfortable and respectful? Again, this is one of these questions that is a recurring kind of a question. I have no answer problem answering this over and over again because it is important. And you know, when you contact your photographer and you're using language, I want to do something wild or I want to do something erotic. Those are relative terms that really don't mean anything. Because um, as I always say, one person's demure is another pe person's wild. And it, it's, a, it's a spectrum that's different for every person. So the best thing to do is I noted before, when you're doing your shopping, look through galleries, look if that photo photographer is producing images in that style that you want to do because the one thing as you start to go in that certain direction there are photographers who are just uncomfortable and they really don't want to produce images of a certain style it's just not their thing um so the first thing is to check in if you see representations of that work on their gallery it's a good shot they're okay with it thing two is in that conversation always bring this up in your consultation or ahead of time and i know it's difficult to talk about stuff like that sometimes with people you don't know but Again, as I always say, the photographers who have been in this business for a while, they've seen it all and they've photographed like most of it. So it's it's nothing new to them. But you want, especially if you're planning on doing something that's a little bit more intense for that photographer to know what's going to be happening during that, that session so they can be thinking about what they're going to be doing on their end and not be surprised again. And you don't want that awkward sensation there where they're really not comfortable. They don't want to do this. And that was the whole key of your session to do these photos and it turns out that person really didn't want to do that type of work so it's just something that they have heard and as far as bringing it up just you know it's it's very easy to say hey, you know like you said to me i just wanted to do some shots that are more erotic and here are my ideas and if you don't really want to talk about it find maybe some images online that are similar and say hey you know i was thinking producing some images that look kind of like this what do you think and then open that discussion. If they're like, yeah, it's not really my thing, that's fine, thanks. And then move on to try to find somebody who who does, because it is indeed expense, and you don't want to go in and find out that person really is uncomfortable with that style of work. They don't want to do that kind of work. And um, again, don't ever assume all photographers are equal or are the same. You know, you got to go to, you know, this is the thing I would say, you don't, walk into McDonald's looking for tacos, you know, you got to go to the place that's serving you tacos. And just because they call themselves a restaurant doesn't mean they make every kind of food under the sun, you know, so you got to really do a little work, talk and make sure that you're going to get the uh, kind of photos that you really want out of that session.